Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Yub nub mofos. <laughs> yub nub. Uh, we're going to talk about this uh, wicket, this uh, $500 plush wicket that looks like he's dead inside. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're going to talk about that because they're making it look like that with the picture. We're going to show you what he really looks like. His eyes are not like that. Yeah, so they used some... Uh, uh, Bad digital... Trickery. Some trickery uh, to, to get you to buy this thing for 500 bucks. We're going to talk about it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Go out to piratesandprincesses.net for more objective Disney news. Check out uh, Shadowbinders Volume 3 on shopclownfish.com. We're uh, getting ready to uh, continue work on Shadowbinders after a 10-year hiatus. So if you want to get in on the ground floor, uh, go out and back that book. Well, please. it's the third floor, but you can get one and two also. There's you can get one and availability two. of those. Yep. But... The ground floor of the third floor of the, yeah, the, the rebuild of Shadow, rebuild of Shadowbinders. All right, so let's let's talk about this. Uh, you love Ewoks, you love Wicked. I do. I know people are like, you like Ewoks? I do like Ewoks. I hate Porgs, but I like Ewoks. It's a weird thing. Um, I think this thing's ugly. Yeah. I think that he's creepy. As, I mean, I guess it looks more like the the the, the actual Ewok from the movie. I Does like it? Cutified Does he ones. really? I like the cutified ones. I have a bunch of vintage Ewoks, the stuffy, the stuffies, because I wanted one when I was a kid, and I was told they were for boys, which was surprising because my parents didn't usually do that. What? I don't think they didn't want to go buy me one. They deliberately had, yeah, because they deliberately had uh, the princess. Was but it was Nisa? unusual. It was unusual for them to say that to me, so I think there was another reason they just used it as an excuse. But anyway, so they okay, so there, there's what it looks like. Okay, see that that picture there with the with the really you know obviously yeah. CG dot. The, go down. Here's what the soulless little mofo looks like. That's his eyes. Oh, my God. Here's a close-up. Oh, my God. It's like a Funko Pop on his face. That's his eyes. There aren't any of these cool, like, look, look, it's, it's a light reflector. This is, okay, so this is a $500 plush. I yeah, would expect a lot. he weighs 30 pounds, and he's three foot two, in, wait, three foot one inches tall. Three foot one? Yeah. He's three foot one and weighs 30 pounds. Is this like his Tinder profile or something? I don't know. He likes long walks in the woods. He's a short Lashes. bear. He likes to cuddle. He likes, likes to, to purr. cuddle. Like he smashing has things with, you know, rocks. Uh, uh, rocks. Yeah. He loves to smash rocks, everybody. He Hates loves the it. empire. He likes hats, too. He's got a hat fetish. Just wear the hat. That is it. Just the hat. He loves girls named Leia. It's all good. Um, yeah, he's just, I mean, okay, I get that he's tall, but they make long, they make big plushes at Disney all the time, like not three foot one, but they're like, you know, a couple feet tall plushes and that you, but they're like, like more for like little kids, but they're still nowhere near $500. $500. That's not a $500 plush. Um, so this is the, the official write up right yeah, now. Yeah, this is the write up. How tall is an Ewok? This giant Ewok collector plush. Stands over three feet tall and weighs a hefty 30 pounds. Almost You're calling him heavy. You fat shaming that Ewok. <laughs> almost as tall as the real creature. He's just, a hefty one. Just as adorable. The supersized plush is modeled after the great Wicket W. Warwick. Created with exacting detail. With a collector's eye for authenticity. He looks like he just stepped out of the forest of Endor. Oh, my God. From his furry body and simulated leather cloak to his sparkling, sparkling eyes. eyes. Go back up. They're not sparkling. He's dead inside. This is the picture they're showing. That's what it looks like that up is, close. Those are like stickers or something. All the pictures, all the pictures of him, those eyes are like that, except for that one picture. If you go out to the, or to, if you go out to the, here, go out to the, the actual link right there. And look at the, okay, look at the pictures. They're all like this. See? They're not sparkling. No. It's not even like his his toes and his fingers and stuff look really fakey. Well, they, 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 look, they look like a stuffed animal. They aren't even like for five hundred bucks. You think it would be like okay? Well, they're gonna have you know he's gonna his fingers can move or something, or they're gonna be really well formed. No, they're just like basic teddy bear. They're not even like they're just like they they literally made the pattern with like little indents for that, and that's what they left it as. I just I, I'm sorry. People are probably gonna buy it though. They're probably gonna buy it, but I, I just I don't get it. I think so $500. here's. So if it's got exacting details, if you skin this motherfucker, do they have a, a life-size um, Warwick Davis inside? No, but you know, if, That'd be it, fun. if it's exacting details, why does his hands and feet look like that? I don't know. I, I People will buy it, though, because they buy stupid stuff. 
They it's buy a collector. It's marked with the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Oh my god! I just, I mean, I think it would give me nightmares. Like, I would hate to have that in my room. Like, I like plushies and Ewoks. I have some. Neon can confirm. But if this thing was in my room or even in my house, I'd be constantly thinking it was staring at me because it's like a soulless eyes. You know, there's those like. CG or whatever they put on there to make him look cute. Yeah. And then you see what his eyes are actually just soullessly staring at you. And it looks like almost like voids. So I was thought, I thought, was it a mask? It was like, is it you put holes for eyes? Because I'm like, they're like holes. No, no, that's the eyeballs. Oh, you should get some like human glass eyes and put it in there just to, that'd be fun. I just, I just am like, it creeps me the hell out. I would just not want to be in the room with this thing alone. <laughs> they should, they should put the, uh, the, like the, um, the lenticular technology, whatever that follows you, like the Han Mansion. Yeah, so it looks go. like he's always watching you. God, it's creepy without him. It's creepy without it. I can't. That, I, I don't think you need to. I don't know if you can make it creepier. I'm just like the actors. The soul is dead. Flat eyes look creepier to me than that would. Oh my god. It's just I don't know. I just find him freaky as hell. Why I'm would you saying something? I collect. I mean, I have a bunch of the original Ewok plushes and stuff. I just. Yeah, I'm not. No, I'm, thank you. Not for five hundred dollars. Actually, this is one of those things you'd see at a garage sale and you'd be like, hell no. It'll end up probably like, you know, at Disney outlets for like, you know, a hundred bucks or something. Oh, I was going to say like 450, but yeah. No, it's going to, it won't go that low. But this is funny because Disney keeps doing this. They keep releasing these, these products. Like another one they had offered and I had mentioned before was they had this, this purse and they were talking when you see the measurements of the purse, it's itty bitty. It is a, it is a, you know, the heart of the, of the ocean replica bag. And it was like, yeah, 4600 I think the shipping in that was like another $1,000 for taxes and shipping. Oh, my God. And it was yeah, anything. Four inches. Oh no, 330 for shipping and handling and taxes. Oh, my Yeah, God. it was four inches. It's four inches by four and a quarter by two inches. So $5,000. $5,000. $5,000 for this stupid four-inch Titanic bag. What the Right. Hell? And then they had it on clearance for like two thousand something. Oh, only. only. What a bargain at two thousand dollars. And they still couldn't sell them. I mean, they're they're gone now, so they probably like did something else with them. But they they couldn't get rid of them for anything. And they were offering discounts on clearance, and they still couldn't get rid of these these damn things. Well, what they need to do is offer a, a life size uh, version of Kate Winslet naked, and it comes with a drawing pad. And it's a Titanic. Art <laughs> or it's kit. just a it's just a photograph of her naked for the you know. There you go. In line, that's what the lining is, you know. I don't know. I just, I just don't understand what they're smoking. I mean, the Ewoks is more reasonable than that because at least it's three feet tall. But I'm just like, I love how they're like, oh, he's 30 pounds. I just, I don't know. I can't even. Somebody's going to modify this. Somebody's going to do something really awful. Like what? To this. Uh, they're going to give him googly eyes. Oh my god, that'd be funny though. That's what they're gonna do. That that's the awful. But that thing. would take, that would take like a, that would take like fifty cents. Yeah, boom, they, boom, googly eyes. Boom, yeah, they done. sell the Japanese version has extra holes. <laughs> so I just think it's it's just doesn't I don't get it. Um, I don't get it either. So this I thought was this, this I actually could understand. This is actually uh, a couple days ago they auctioned off as the highest like the most expensive Star Wars thing yeah, I saw ever. That. Screen used X wing for three point one million dollars. Um, which is weird because they couldn't sell the Leia dress, but uh, I, I guess if you're... Which movie was it from? Was it from the original? I think it's from the original. I want to say it's the original. Yeah, this is from A New Hope. So, I mean, look, in that case, I actually, I think in, I, I, I could understand paying that. I mean, this is a, this is a piece of, of cinema history. It belongs in a museum, but it's going to be in some rich nerd's collection. It's probably some tech bro probably bought it or something. It's probably Kevin Smith. You're just jealous. Yeah, it's probably Kevin Smith. And he's going to be like, here's a picture of me on Instagram, Neon Kaneen. <laughs> I don't with think my, Kevin, Kevin with Smith has that kind of money. $3 million dollar X-Wing. I don't think he has that kind of money anymore. I know he's got a pretty fat collection of stuff, but that's that's a lot of money. And Clerks I know he's got a fat little, ego. But. Uh, but there are there are nerds out there that have ridiculous money. They're buying like actual vehicles and costumes and stuff. And um, yeah, I mean, this one, I, I, I'm i going to be honest, I could see because Todd McFarlane spent three million dollars on the World Series baseball. You know? Yeah, so, I, just, I can't wrap my head around it. I mean, I this can't. this will probably and keep I, like, I like this kind of stuff, but I just so can't wrap my head around it. The original Star Wars trilogy is always going to hold its value. You know, anything that like, that's why I, I still don't understand with like Galaxy's Edge, why the hell they would base it on the sequels when, you know, the nerds are dropping the big bucks or dropping it on props like this, you know, original trilogy stuff. So there we go, guys. Uh, this is a little more reasonable at 500 bucks. I with, just thought it was ridiculously funny and thought we should talk about it. Cause I don't want Disney smoking. This is like, 
They but, don't even say how many. They say they like they're limited. I'm assuming, but they don't tell you how many of these there are. Like usually, if they're limited edition, they like they say, okay, there's this many available. But they don't. I don't think they said that anywhere. Did you ask that all the higher price, like the really expensive stuff, for the most part, is original trilogy though with mm-hmm, Disney? Mm-hmm. Like you can buy the their Star Wars cheap stuff. They figure like, those people have money. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's just it. Cause that's, that's what sells. That's what Hasbro's going back to doing original I mean, trilogy. And yeah, I knew it was coming. Cause I saw them pushing that they're going to be having Ewok. And I thought it was gonna be like a regular size Ewok. And I was like, Oh, I wonder how much he's going to be. And then I opened it up this morning and I was like, $500. Yeah. He's three foot. I'm like, but you guys sell like two foot plus. She's all the time. And they're like, you know, 60, you know, it's like, I mean, or, you know, yeah, I, yeah. Get it. I mean, those are pillows, but like there's 24 inch plush for $40. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying. Somebody's going to modify this one, too. No. <laughs> With googly I eyes. I love Eeyore. I love Eeyore. With googly eyes. Yeah, that's what that's what they're modifying with. Okay, but I'm just saying, they have big ones. They have big plushies and stuff. You can go other stores and find big Disney plush that are official. And they're nowhere near that price. Yeah. And some of them are more detailed. The yeah. hands and feet on that thing are just like, what the hell? Yeah, it doesn't. That, that's what I'm saying. For that price, I'm like, damn. You better have knuckles, man. He needs to be, he actually needs to be posable, jointed. He's got to have internal organs. <laughs> That's internal, uh, internal organs, but I mean, I, I expect his hands and feet to know, be better than that. Than that. Warwick so, anyway. Davis has to be inside. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't think I want that, especially after he's telling Disney that people need to see Will, the Willow series on Disney. Plus. Like, no, they don't. They need a life-size Warwick Davis. Dude, Willow you just, I just like lost respect. Wax figure or something. I had a chance, we were talking about, literally talking about this the other day. I had a chance to buy the, uh, the Yoda from... The Phantom Menace mm-hmm. at the grocery store, and uh, he was he was like three foot tall, and I could have him for a hundred bucks, and that was well, that was years ago. Years though, ago, but was, like, he was a rare collectible piece. This he is was. different. He was. They don't even say how many how many are. Like a lot of times, their dolls will say limited to two thousand or yeah. whatever. There's not even. I don't think there's go back go down. I don't think there's even a limited amount. They, they they're, they're says, saying quantity limited one per guest. But that doesn't go here. Go down here. Go where it says more. Read more. Does it tell you how many they have? No. Like nope. if it's a limited edition, they usually they're limited to so many numbers. They tell you that. Nope. Oh well, they'll just keep making. It's keep limited. Making. Yeah. You sure keep it spending, is. they'll keep making. It'll be limited until there's piles in them at the the character warehouse or whatever. Yeah. You know? So we're gonna wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.